Hello, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome. I think everybody's ready now. Welcome. Hello, people. It's nice to have you on this beautiful day, which is Tuesday. Welcome. Okay, Raul is here. Also, Edgar, Carolina, Lucia, Laura, Jocelyn, and also Carla is here, and also Brenda. It's nice to have you. I'm going to show you what's going to be today's agenda. Give me a minute so you can have it. And this is going to be today's agenda, people. Welcome. Uh, this is um, section number five. Tell me about your family. That is the title of this one. And today's agenda is going to be present continual tense. It's pre intermediate one. And this is class number 14. So, welcome. It's nice to have you, everybody. Okay, so welcome. If you have a question, let me know anytime. Don't forget that you have the material available in the platform so you can be like working and doing the exercise. Raul, do you have a question? Este, sí, teacher, que sé que las preguntas de que estaban ayer, por ejemplo, la, la última decía, tell me about, about your, your kid. Uh, kid es pequeño. Oh, when we're talking about kid, we're talking about your your son, about ah, uh, ese puede ser el equivalente a a, a hijo. A uh, hijo is 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 son, son. Ajá, por mm -hmm. la última pregunta no la entendí bien porque es, háblame sobre un pequeño. No, acerca de tu pues de tu hijo o hija. Ah, uh, hijos. If you have more than one. Ah, uh, gracias. Um, yeah, this last one is about if you have like kids, you know, if you have kids, like you have a daughter or a son, right? If you're married, yeah, this question is for you in case you have it, in case you have it. Yep. Okay. Um. Oh, let me take the attendance before we get into the class. Again, when you hear your beautiful name, say, please, I know I'm here. Yes. And if you have a question, people, just raise your hand. And let me know anytime so we can check that all together. Yep. That's wonderful. Um, what is this? Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. I need to switch account. Uh, this one is. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's check. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my gosh, this thing is loading. Okay, let's check. No, no, no. Oh, we think this one is. Okay, Allison. Hello, Allison. Are you here? Thank you, Allison. Yes or no? I think I did a mistake here. Today we have Tuesday. No, Alison? Okay. What about you, Ana Zamora? Ana? Pre present teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Andrea Marisol Represa. Hello. Andrea Marisol? No? Okay. Let's carry on with Andrea Vanessa Landos. 
Andrea Present. Vanessa. Thank you, Andrea. Barbara Cabrera, Larin. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Brenda Castro. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Carolina del Carmen Perez. Thank you. Claudia Present, teacher. Very good. Claudia López. Hello, hello, Claudia. Thank Are you here? Hello, hello. Nice to have you. Cristina Monge. Hello, Cristina. Are you here? No? Okay. Daniela Asensio. Hello, Daniela. No? Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Are you here? Good evening, teacher. Good Present. evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Ernesto Ventura. Hello, Ernesto. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Griselda Moreno. Hello, hello, Griselda. How are you? Not today. Okay. Ivania Mendoza. Ivania Mendoza. Hello. No? Okay. Jennifer Torres. Jennifer Torres. Are you here, Jennifer? No? Okay. Let's check that. Uh, Jennifer Moss. No? Jennifer Marroquin. No? Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, Jocelyn Mancia. I'm here, teacher. Welcome, Jocelyn. Karen Garcia. Present. Carla teacher. Colocho. Hello, Carla. I'm here. Thank you so much. Laura Molina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Laura. It's nice to have you again. Leslie Orellana. Hello, Leslie. Present. Thank you, Leslie. Lisbeth de Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Lisbeth. Lorena Hernandez. Present teacher. Nice to have you one more time. Lucia Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra. She's not here. Raul Reyes. Thank Present. you. Dalila Barahona. Hello, Dalila. Are you here? Yes or no? No. Okay. Ruth del Carmen Chicas. And Stephanie Abigail. I'm here, mister. That's you, Stephanie? Yes. Perfect. So Ruth, she's absent. Okay, people, thank you so much for being here. I will take the attendance at the end of the class again for the ones that join us late. It's nice to have you. Let me check Alison Angel. Let me check that, Alison, please. Give me a minute. Thank you so much. Again, we will start today with a new light like, topic, which is pretty much um, the present continuous. Then. This is section number five. Tell me about your family. We have present continuous today, and this is pre-intermediate class number 14. Let's begin with the following video, which is brought by um, Inglés Corporativo. Listen and watch. Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. 
Remember that simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion box. Are you ready? Okay, let's get into the grammar. In here, we got the explanation about present continuous. What is present continuous? It's pretty much everything we do at the time of, of the speaking, like everything we do at the moment, right? Some things come naturally, the things that we do, and something you pay close attention to, something, right? And the structure is quite simple. Do you remember verb to be? That little thing, verb to be, the name was R, is, I think we have am here, okay? So with this present continuous, vamos a utilizar el verb to be, yes? Usted tiene que saber que el verb to be, tenemos R with plurals, is, is with singular, and am is with I, which is first person, yep? Okay? Luego, usted tiene que jugar con different verbs. Like live, work, study, do, travel. Yep. ¿Qué es lo que va a hacer a estos verbos? Solo le va a agregar ing. ing, 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 ing. ¿Para qué le va a agregar ing y el verb to be? Para to indicate that the action or the activity is happening at the moment, at the time of the speaking. That means right now. That is pretty much the grammar part. When do we use this thing? Every single day. Cuando su esposo le llame, su esposa le llama y le dice, Hello, darling. Where are you? Oh, I am at home. And then the typical question, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? So it's like the question is about what is he or she doing at the moment? So you need to answer with the correct, like, action that you're doing, right? Maybe you are cooking, or maybe you are cleaning, or maybe you are tidying your room, or maybe you are just watching a movie, or maybe you are just, I don't know, working, right, at, at home, because now we have different people working at home. So again, when do we use this thing? Is when we want to talk about something we're doing here at the moment, okay? So I have a question, for example, um, Andrea Landos, what are you doing right now? I am in, in class right now. Okay, okay, very good. Just as if you have, la pregunta es, what are you doing? Yep. Yeah. Entonces, usted yeah. tiene que contestar according to the question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, porque usted me dice, I am in class now, I mean, yes, that is correct. Pero yo no le estoy preguntando, where are you? Okay. Y yo le estoy preguntando específicamente, what are you doing? ¿Qué hace? Right. Entonces, usted tiene different options para contestarme eso. Siempre tiene que contestarme con, yes, I am. Yes, she is. Yes, they are. No, I'm not. O, por ejemplo, así como está aquí. Yes. Cuando me va a contestar de esta forma larga es cuando tengo una pregunta con doble H, que eso es esta. Así como se la hice a usted, ¿ya? Yeah? What are you doing? What are you doing? ¿Ya? Yeah? Ahora, ¿cuándo va a dar estas, estas answers? Cuando yo le haga una pregunta que comience con un what, que comience con un who, que comience con un where. ¿Ok? Yes. Ahora yes, va, teacher. Va a contestarme con una respuesta completa como esta. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Just, just be careful. Tiene que tener cuidado con eso. ¿Por qué? La pregunta es, what are you doing? Usted tiene que contarme con algo que está haciendo. Puede ser que you are watching like the class. You are taking classes. You are studying English. You are listening to the teacher. You are writing in your notebook. You are paying attention. You are, I don't know, drinking water, let's say. You are having three pupusas. Maybe you are driving home, yeah? Maybe you are like, in. you are like, yeah, let's say, getting home right now by bus. Or maybe you are walking on the street. Or maybe you are just, <laughs> I'm sitting on, on your chair. ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, ¿cuál es la respuesta que usted me tiene que dar? Es una acción. Something. ¿Ya? Yeah? Tiene que ir con un verbo, así como está acá. Claro, cuando yo le pregunte, what, or who, or where. Ahora, si yo le pregunto a usted, are you playing tennis? ¿Cómo me contesta? Are you playing tennis? I'm not playing tennis in this moment. Exactly. Puede contestarme así o puede contestarme. No, I'm not. Así. Porque la, la pregunta ya no la hago con una double H, la hago con un R. Entonces, cuando tenemos un R, you playing tennis, ahí sí me puede contestar con no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cuando va con, el, con esto, entonces ya pues no necesita que me conteste una full. Si usted se fija, mire el ejemplo acá, las respuestas son cortas. Pero mire aquí cuando ocupa una double edge word, ¿ya? Yeah, las respuestas son largas. ¿Por qué? Por estas palabras que están here, que lo que necesitan es more explanation about your answer. ¿Ya? Yeah. Questions at home or everything is clear? Everything is clear for me. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. What about the rest of Thank you people? Thank you, teacher. What about the rest of you people? Again, dos cosas tiene que tomar en cuenta aquí. Yo les comentaba anteriormente, practique los verbos, practique los verbs. Esas cosas que usted hace every single day, como echar tortillas, right? Make pupusas, right? Things like that. Just things, easy things that you do, you need to know how to say those because you use them. When we practice English, okay. Vamos a uh, have a we'll have a little bit of practice on some vocabulary in here. Let me show you, okay. Remember if I can have it ready for you, okay. Let me see. Fun. Esta cosa no me está. Okay. Give me a minute, people. I'm sorry. Okay. If you don't see the presentation, let me know. Si no ve la presentation, let me know. Okay. No se ve. Pero se, se ve una cosa como purple. Sí. Yes. Very good. Eso sí. Okay. Tenemos, what are they doing? Right? We have some pictures. Okay. Look at the pictures here. Stephanie, Quintanilla. Tell me, what are they doing in this picture? What are the verbs? He is studying. Okay. El otro. Uh, he's running. Okay. What about this one? She's dancing. Thank you. What about this one? He's. ¿Cómo sería patinando? Okay. Anybody can help us with that? ¿Cómo se dice patinando en inglés? How do you say that? How do you say that? Señor dinosaurio. No puedo. Skate. No. Skating. Very good. Ice. Ice skating. Ice skating. He Perfect. is ice skating. Beautiful. Okay. So, look at this one. What is she doing? What is she doing? Mm -hmm. Take a picture. Okay. Sí. Tiene que contestarme con el. Así como la cosa. She is take a picture. Taking. Okay, she is, she is. Hmm? Sería teacher taking ahí. Exactly, she is, very good. Taking a picture. 
Very good. Okay, she's taking up well a photograph. This is the same. Okay, she's taking a picture. She's uh, taking a photograph. Again, la pregunta es, what is she doing? Okay, doing. Remember, do is una acción. It's something that somebody does. Entonces, usted tiene que contestar con un verbo. Con un verbo. Yeah? Y remember, la estructura. Verb to be, ing. Yes? She's taking a picture. Very good. Let's continue. What about this one? What is he doing? Mm -hmm. What is he doing? He is calling for telephone. Okay, he's calling for telephone. Okay, but that is correct. He's calling on the phone. On the phone. Okay, oh, on the phone. Thanks. Very good. Let's see if that is the word. Sorry. Oh, this is now that one. Is he's using the computer? He's using the computer. Oh, puede ser, teacher. He's working. Oh, that's another one. He's working. Very good. That's another he's one. He's right. working. Hablando. Oh, he's talking. He's talking on the phone. That's another on one. The he's phone, yes. On the phone. yes, very good. That is correct. Right. What about this? What is he doing? He's cooking. He's cooking. Oh, he's cooking. Very good. Okay. Raul, last next one is for you, Raul. Okay. Ready? He is cooking. He's cooking. Very good. Ahora, what is what is she doing, um, Raul? Uh, she's she's play a no sé no recuerdo bien el nombre de ese pero es una bolita que tiran creo de una pared okay, okay. acuérdese de agregarle in Raúl a los verbos there we go ing thank you so much Raúl uh, she's, she's playing no me recuerdo que el nombre de ese deporte she's playing tennis tennis she's playing tennis I think it's badminton I guess but, but, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. But the idea, Raul, is that. Exactly. Don't forget that you need E-I-N-G at the end in the verb to be. Very good. Next one. Okay. What is he, what is he doing? What is he doing? He's eating. Oh, he's eating. Very good. Okay. He's eating. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, let me see. Ayúdeme. Carla, ayúdeme. Dígame los objects. Dígame los objects or the food that you see here. Karen. I'm sorry. Chair, no miro la, la pantalla en negro. Oh, I'm sorry. Voy a ver one more time if I can show you. Yo creo que quizás es mi internet porque se me... Se me... Me salí de la reunión y me acaba de volver a entrar. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Jocelyn, ¿usted ve en la pantalla, Jocelyn? Do you see the screen? Sí. Okay, can you tell me the objects that you see in this picture? Eh, sería his lunch. Pero okay. No, sé. no, I mean the objects, the products, the food, the name of the food. ¿Cómo se llama esto? What's the name of this? How do you say this in English? Apple. Apple. What about this one? Juice. 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 And what about this one? San sandwich. Oh. Sandwich. 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 Okay. Very good. And what is what is he doing, Jocelyn? What is he doing? Comiendo. Pero sería. En inglés. Ay, no, en inglés sí, no, no sé cómo. Ayúdenle, please, somebody. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating a lunch. Oh, he is eating. Very good. Oh, my gosh. Yes, very good. He's eating. He's eating. Okay, or you can say he's having lunch if you want to talk about having. Very good. What about this one? What is he doing? Mm -hmm. He's playing uh, soccer. Baseball. Oh, baseball. Very good. Okay. So he's playing baseball. Very good. He's playing baseball. Um, what about the next one? 
What is he doing? He is swimming. Oh, he's swimming. Very good. Look at this one. Very short. Solo tengan un poquito de cuidado con este porque este se le agrega una M. Okay, so we have double M here. And then we have swimming. Swimming. Very good. What about the next one? What about this one? What is he doing? Teacher, mm -hmm. en ese caso solo se duplica la N. M, yes. Very good. Yes. He is painting. He's oh, he's painting. Cuando es de una sila, ¿verdad? He's painting, very good. Hay algunos que se les dobla. Okay, ya lo vamos a ver en el future. Pero hay algunos. Okay, yo, yo se lo voy a ir mencionando. Okay, uh, we don't have too many. He's painting, very good, right? He's painting. What about this one? This one is difficult. What is she doing? What is she doing? Uh-huh. No. She's exercising. She's exercising. doing exercise. Doing she's exercise. doing, oh, she's doing exercises. That's better. That's better. Let's take a look. She's doing, yes, but gymnastic. It's not exercises. She's doing gymnastics. Okay, she's doing gymnastic. Gymnastics. Very good. What about this one? What is he doing? This one is easy. Mm -hmm. What is he doing? He is playing soccer. Playing soccer. Exactly. He's he playing, is soccer. playing soccer. What about this one? What is he doing? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? He is fishing. He's fishing, right? He's fishing. Yeah, he's fishing. Again, look at this one, word to be an ING form. What about this one? What is he doing? He's reading. Oh, he's oh, reading. Oh. Very good. Very good. Oh, what is he doing? Well, he's reading. Let's check, take a look. He's reading. Very good. Oh, and I think we're finished with this one. So these examples that we have here in this presentation are these ones that we have in here. Okay. Yeah, or these are the same examples. Things like, what are you doing? What is she doing? Okay. Here we're adding, ¿se acuerdan que estuvimos hablando acerca de family, right? Entonces aquí tenemos, is your sister, are your parents, what is your brother? Entonces, ¿qué hacemos? As a whole community, as a whole community, as a whole, let's say, um, a grammar context. We put the grammar context together and we have conversation, okay? We have conversations about something. Yes? That is the way we do it. Question for you, Claudia Lopez. Hello, Claudia. Do you hear me? Hello, teacher. Claudia, what is your brother doing? My brother... What is your brother doing? My brother is uh, doing um working um it uh sec private security in um at midnight. So it is is your brother working right now? Yes, 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 he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Very good. Okay, thank you so much. Great job. Great job. Edgar, question for you. What is your do you have sisters, Edgar? No, teacher, only brother. Only okay. Brother. Okay, what is your brother doing, please? Um she's uh he uh, he's, he's he's a student. One more time, one more time. The question is, what is your brother doing? Uh, sorry, I don't understand the question. That's okay. Don't worry. We will help you. Give me a minute. Let me show you really quick. 
The question is, what is your brother doing? Okay. If you don't see the screen, let me know. What is your brother doing? Brother doing. What is your brother doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is your yeah. brother? Acuérdense que aquí le puedo cambiar. What is your sister? What is your mother? What is your father? What is your grandmother? What is your daughter? What is your son? Entonces, do. Uh, ¿Qué significa do? For example. Edgar, ¿qué significa do? What is the meaning of do? Eh, hacer. Exacto. Entonces yo le pregunto, what is your brother doing? Ah, eh, por eso le respondí, he's a student. Él era un oh. estudiante. Oh, en ese caso me está diciendo, él es un estudiante. That's what you're saying. Ok. Ahora, cuando yo le hago esta pregunta, usted tiene que contestarme con un verbo, una acción. Ahora, si usted me dice, él está estudiando ahorita, ¿eso está haciendo él ahorita? Yes. Estudiando en un escritorio o en tomando clases o en un salón. Eh, clases online, en su cuarto. Igual. Oh, ok, so he's, entonces ahí tenemos que utilizar different contexts, right? Podemos utilizar study, yes. O podemos utilizar take. ¿Ya? Yeah. Los dos son correct. Uno significa estudiando y el otro es está en clases. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ahora, ¿cómo va a contestar usted? It's up to you. Ok, you can say, what is your brother's name? Steven. Steven, ok. Steven is studying. Oh my gosh. Stephen is studying. Simple like that. Or you can say Stephen is taking yes. classes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, teacher. ¿Por qué tiene que contestarme así? Porque aquí necesito esto, mire. Una acción. Entonces, ¿cuál es la acción? Studying or taking. Taking. Yep. Yep. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Thanks. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, okay. Let's continue with somebody else. Lucia, Elena. Are you married? Are you married, Lucia? Yes. Okay. What is your husband doing? My husband is watching TV at the oh, home. Very good. Thank you so much. What is your husband's name? Uh, the ne my husband is named Eduardo. Oh, Eduardo. Okay. Thank you so much. How old is your husband? He is 39 years old. What does he do for a living? He is a accountant. 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 Very good. Ernesto, let's carry on with you. Hello. Are you married, Ernesto? Yes. Okay, what is your wife doing right now? Sorry, teacher. What is your wife doing right now? Ah, my wife is cooking now. Oh, that's fantastic for you, right? So that means you are going to have food. Very good. Yeah, I have very hungry. <laughs> You're hungry. That's great. Yeah. Great job. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. What is your wife's name? What's her name? What's her name, Ernesto? Ernesto, your mic, your mic is off. Está apagado your mic. Sorry, teacher. Uh, uh, her name is Rosa. Oh, Rosa, that's a cute name. Thank you so much for sharing. Andrea Landos, you're next, Andrea. Hello, Andrea, are you married? No, teacher, no, married. Do you have children? Yes. Okay, how many children do you have? I have one daughter. Oh, okay. What's her name? Fiorella. Her, Fiorella. her name is Fiorella. Her name is Fiorella. That's fantastic. How old is Fiorella? He is, no. She is 11 years old. Oh, she's, she's 11 years old? She's 11 years old. Oh, very good. What is she doing right now? 
she um, eating the oh, dinner? She's eating dinner. That's fantastic. Okay. Can you tell me that food, please? What's the food she's eating? Be, been with rice. Oh, that's fantastic. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, beans with rice. No, that is good. That is good. Very good. I got it. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, Dalila. Hello, Dalila. Dalila. Hi, hi. Dalila. No? Okay, Lucia. Elena. Yes. Hello, Lucia. Are you married? Teacher, ya me pregunto. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Lucia, espere, me déjeme notar la que. Lucia, Andrea, ok, Edgar, ok. Es que apagó la cámara, I'm sorry, that's why I miss, I miss your face, ok. <laughs> Claudia, Jocelyn, are you there? Are you married, Claudia? I'm sorry, Jocelyn, are you married? No, Jocelyn, I think I think she has problems with the internet connection because I don't see her. 